Hey guys, welcome back to Click Academics. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to solve this exponential problem. And make sure to stick to the end of the problem where I have three bonus problems that are similar to this one, which you guys can try to solve. Alright, so I have x plus x is equal to x times x. Now, let's simplify these two sides to start. All right, so x plus x, that's obviously equal to 2x. And x times x, that's going to equal x squared. So now I'm going to go ahead and subtract x squared on both sides. So now these two are going to cancel out. And now I'm going to be left with 2x minus x squared is equal to 0. Now, if I factor out x from here, I get x times 2 minus x is equal to 0. So now, this is going to give me two equations. I have x is equal to 0, and I also have 2 minus x is equal to 0. So x equals 0, this is already solved, this is already a solution. For 2 minus x equals 0, all I have to do is add x on both sides, and I get x is equal to 2. So these are two solutions to this problem. Now, however, going back, if you see here where I had 2x is equal to x squared, now if I were to divide by both sides by x over here, these two cancel out, and I'll simply be left with 2 is equal to x. So although this is a simpler version of solving this problem, the only solution I would get here is x equals 2. And I wouldn't know that x equals 0 without having to subtract x squared on both sides, factor that, factor x out, and do all of this. All right, so now to check, my original equation was x plus x is equal to x times x. So let's first start with x equals 0. If x equals 0, I have 0 plus 0 is equal to 0 times 0. 0 plus 0 is 0, and 0 times 0 is 0 as well. So this is right. Now, if x equals 2, I have 2 plus 2 is equal to 2 times 2. 2 plus 2 is equal to 4. 2 times 2 is also equal to 4. So 4 equals 4 as well meaning our two solutions here are both correct. All right, so I have 9 to the power of 900 minus 9 to the power of 901. So for our solution here, first start with 9 to the power of 900 minus 9 to the power of 901. Now 901 here, this is the same thing as 900 plus 1. So now I have 9 to the power of 900 minus 9 to the power of 900 plus 1. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m plus n, this is the same thing as a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So 9 to the power of 900 plus 1, that's going to equal 9 to the power of 900 times 9 to the power of 1. And now, because both of these terms have 9 to the power of 900 in them, I can simply factor out 9 to the power of 900. So now I have 9 to the power of 900 times, now 9 to the power of 900 divided by 9 to the power of 900 is simply 1, minus 9 to the power of 900 times 9 to the power of 1 divided by 9 to the power of 900. All that's left is 9 to the power of 1. So now this is equal to 9 to the power of 900 times 1 minus 9, because 9 to the power of 1 is the same thing as 9. Now, 1 minus 9, that's the same thing as negative 8. So I have 9 to the power of 900 times negative 8. Now, negative 8, this is the same thing as 8 
times negative 1. And negative 1 times 9 to the power of 900 is negative 9 to the power of 900. So now I have negative 9 to the power of 900 times positive 8. Now, I'm going to rewrite 9 as 3 squared. So now I have negative 3 squared to the power of 900 times 8. And now, if I have something in the form a to the power of n to the power of m, it's the same thing as a to the power of n times m. So 3 to the power of 2 to the power of 900, that's going to equal 3 to the power of 2 times 900. And 2 times 900 is simply 1800. So now I have negative 3 to the power of 1800 times 8. Now 8, I can rewrite as 2 to the power of 3. Because we're trying to keep this as the simplest form as possible. So now I have negative 3 to the power of 1800 times 2 to the power of 3. So our answer here is negative 3 to the power of 1800 times 2 to the power of 3. All right, so I have 8 to the power of 6 times 5 to the power of 5. So for my solution, 8 to the power of 6, we can rewrite as 8 to the power of 5 plus 1 because 6 is the same thing as 5 plus 1. So now I have 8 to the power of 5 plus 1 times 5 to the power of 5. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m plus n, this is the same thing as a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So a to the power of 5 plus 1 is going to equal a to the power of 5 times a to the power of 1. Now this times 5 to the power of 5. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m times b to the power of m, this is the same thing as a times b to the power of m. So in this case, I have a to the power of 5 times 5 to the power of 5. And because these two have the same exponents, I can multiply these two. So this is going to equal 8 times 5 to the power of 5 times 8 to the power of 1. And now, 8 times 5, this is 40. So now I have 40 to the power of 5 times 8 to the power of 1. And now, 40 to the power of 5, well, 40, this is the same thing as 4 times 10. So now I have 4 times 10 to the power of 5 times 8. And now if I have something in the form a times b to the power of m, it's the same thing as a to the power of m times b to the power of m. So in this case, 4 times 10 to the power of 5, this is going to equal 4 to the power of 5 times 10 to the power of 5. Now I have this times 8. Now 4, this is the same thing as 2 squared. So if I replace 2 squared with 4, we have 2 squared to the power of 5 times 10 to the power of 5 times 8. Now if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is the same thing as a to the power of m times n. So 2 to the power of 2 to the power of 5, that's going to equal 2 to the power of 10, because 2 times 5 is 10. Now I have this times 10 to the power of 5 times 8. So now... 8 is the same thing as 2 to the power of 3. So now I have 2 to the power of 10 times 2 to the power of 3 times 10 to the power of 5. Now if I have something from a to the power of m times a to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m plus n. So 2 to the power of 10 times 2 to the power of 3, that's going to equal 2 to the power of 10 plus 3, which is 13. So now I have 2 to the power of 13 times 2 to the power of 5. And... 2 to the power of 13 this is equal to 8,192. And 10 to the power of 5, this is going to equal 1 with 
five zero. So one, two, three, four, five. Now if I multiply these two, eight, one, nine, two, zero, 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 zero. So this is my answer.